All right, in today's video, we are going to be going inside a new townhome community here in Bluffton called the Towns at Washington Square. I'm gonna interview one of my great friends who is the listing agent for this community. And we're also going to explore the surrounding area so you can see what's coming soon in this incredible walkable plaza. So don't go anywhere. We're getting started right now. Do you want to know everything there is to know about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County? Then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know everything happening here. My name is David Simcox, host of the channel and a local real estate agent. I get calls and emails every day from people like you and you and you looking to make their move here, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in three days, three months, or three years, Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or you can even book a Zoom call all in the description below so I can help you find your low country lifestyles. We're about to jump into an interview with my friend Eric Elder here at this amazing townhome community. He is the listing agent, so he represents the seller. And if this is a product or a place that you'd like to live, you can call me as your buyer's agent and I will schedule an appointment and we'll come take a look around here. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here with my buddy, Eric Elder, and uh, I've actually known Eric for a long time. We have quite a few things in common. It, he actually likes to work out and do CrossFit, and I've been doing that for 17 years, so we've had that friendship and that bond. But I wanted to uh, introduce Eric because he's actually the listing agent at this new townhome community called the Towns at Washington Square. So thanks for being on camera, and uh, thanks for being a good friend too, Eric. So do you want to talk to me a little bit about this project? Tell us a little bit about the, the concept and the builder and, and what you guys have going on here. Yeah, so I'm representing Logan Homes, David, here at Washington Square for the townhome or the residential portion of Washington Square. So there are 58 luxury townhomes that Logan Homes is building and we're well underway. I've sold 33 of the townhomes already. Uh, so we've got 25 of them left. They're really terrific. Logan Homes, the builder, are, they're based out of North Carolina. They really do a great job. Uh, they've built several homes here in the local market in Riverton Point and Hampton Hall and Hampton Lake and have been very pleased with the workmanship uh, so far, David. Uh, and we'll talk more about that maybe when we go inside. There are two different sizes of townhomes to choose from. The larger of the two is 1,952 square feet three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and then there's a smaller townhome uh, model, uh, the Monroe, that's 1,716 square feet, also three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and they've both been selling pretty evenly. The big selling point, though, here in Washington Square has certainly been the walkability. So you've got restaurants, stores, and shops all here that you can walk to, all your day-to-day -day stuff you can do quick and easy, David. And Great. that's been what has really been appealing to most of the folks thus far. And I'm just noticing, like, on the exterior of these homes, I'm seeing this is all, like, hardy plank, hardy board siding. So this is a high-quality product and the interior I did walk through and we're gonna let you guys walk through with us here in a minute. They're beautiful inside, absolutely beautiful. What sort of folks are, are buying these? People that want low maintenance? What's the, uh, the mindset of, of folks yeah. that are buying in here? Yeah, so I've been very pleased. It has appealed to the masses so far. I've got first time home buyers, young professionals, investors, active adults, retirees. It's really been appealing to everybody. And I think it is that walkability. The fact that you're so close to uh, the Berkeley Place Shopping Center where uh, the cinema is, One Hot Mamas, all of that and then Buckwalter Place where the Kroger Shopping Center yeah. is there. That's uh, the one they refer to as the Crow Bar. The Crow Bar. <laughs> where all the, some of the moms like to hang out with their grocery cart and have a glass of wine or champagne at the Crow Bar right. while they're shopping. Yeah. Or before. That's or right. before, yeah. yeah. So my wife is uh, one of those that takes advantage of the Crow Bar. But yeah, yeah I think that walkability, the easily accessible day-to-day -day things, that's what really appeals to folks here. 
and here in this plaza, and I know we're gonna talk about this after we tour the house, but there's going to be some incredible things here directly at this facility, one of which is Low Country Fresh, which is directly behind us. And we're gonna walk you guys through Low Country Fresh when we're done here, but, uh, but there's gonna be some other things too. So we'll tell you guys all about that in just a minute. So how many of these townhomes are left if somebody wants to come take a look at these? Yeah, so I've got 25 of them left various stages of construction. So I've got about five of them that are ready to go right now. So if somebody needs something quickly in the next few weeks, I've got it. And then I've got some that are gonna be finishing next month. So June, July, August, even September. And September, I should be close to sold out at that point, David. Okay, and what's our price range here? Price range, I've got one listed right now for 460, 460,000 is the lowest I've got right now and it goes up to about $535,000 is what the range is. Okay, and the POA fee here? POA is 329 a month uh, and it's important to know that that 329 a month includes the homeowner's insurance policy. So okay. uh, another thing that's been really appealing uh, for folks that have purchased here is just a true lock and leave. Uh, exterior maintenance, uh, exterior paint, roof replacement, lawn care, all of that's included in that 329. So uh, people just don't have to fool with anything on the exterior. We'll need a contents policy for the interior items, but that's really all you'll need. Okay, well that sounds great. It sounds like a great opportunity. And so this is built by Logan Homes, and how long has Logan Homes been around? Good question. So Logan Homes has been in business for about 50 years. It's a, a father and son that own the company. And even though it's a privately held company, they are pretty substantial. They build about 500 new homes a year. So okay. they, and they do, like I mentioned earlier, real quality job. Very nice. Are you ready to take a walk through? Yes. All right, let's go guys. Okay, David, one of the nice standard features that I really like is the screen front porch. So both of the floor plans include this front porch being screened and then the back porch is something that the new owner can screen on their own if they want to. Okay. Yeah, this is very nice. You can see some furniture out here. Definitely a really cool spot to uh, have some morning coffee or an evening glass of wine or a cup of tea. David, this is the smaller of the two floor plans. This is the Monroe floor plan, 1,716 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. This one has all three bedrooms upstairs with a small office up front, the screen porch up front, and then a one car garage in the back. Cool thing too that Logan did is they made the driveways wide enough for at least two or three cars. So you're not gonna have to move a car off the driveway to get one out of the garage. Very nice. What you see inside here, everything that you see comes standard with the uh, exception of the refrigerator, washer and dryer. So that's gonna be up to the new owner to have to add those. But everything from the crown molding to the flooring, the LVP flooring, upgraded baseboard, the paint color, cabinets are upgraded, all of it comes standard. Just the difference in a color package. So they have predetermined color packages that you'll see over here on the wall, David. Neutral colors, I haven't had any real pushback on the colors because they are neutral. So the granite comes standard on all the townhomes, just the difference in the color package. Cabinets are definitely upgraded. They're the soft closed cabinets, Davey, I really like those. Pantry is good size, walk-in pantry. Nice. And, and even the tile backsplash uh, they put in, and when most builders are not doing that uh, standard. So electric uh, stove, uh, the dishwasher and the microwave come standard. Again, the refrigerator, washer and dryer would be up to the uh, new owner. Over here, they took advantage of the space underneath the stairs to put in a nice coat closet on this. The LVP flooring and all the living areas here is just about indestructible, water resistant. Uh, you can get a, a trash pull out there. The fixtures that you see, upgraded faucet in here in the kitchen, pendant lights come standard, uh, dining fixture, can lights, or recess lights. So it's pretty much ready to go. I know a lot of houses, they're like pre-wired and you have to go to Lowe's or you have to go somewhere and get all your own lighting. So this way you move in, bring your suitcase, bring some furniture, you're good to go. Even the ceiling fan, so I was really happy that they did that upgraded the baseboard to five inch, the paint colors for the wall, so you're not starting off with a, you know, off-white builder grade paint. 
So like you said, they really do set you up where you just have to move in. Refrigerator, washer, and dryer is all you'd have to get, and you'll be good to go. Very nice. And what's the room up front, right by the uh, porch there? The room up front is just a, uh, a small office, and I chose this one for the models because that's really all I need is a, a small office up front. So that's where you work out of? Yeah. Okay. But if somebody were to purchase that, that is technically the office. Come standard, right. Good deal. Oh, well. And what do we have back on the back side of the first floor? Yeah, so here is your half bath. Back here with a pocket door, a good opportunity for a pocket door right there. Very nice. And even David, they upgraded the doors. So I like the glass insert doors. Adds plenty of natural light in here. The locks even are an upgraded lock. Very nice. And this is access to the garage right here. Okay. And they took the garage, they finished it, put a baseboard in. Another thing that most builders are not doing, usually you'll have mud and tape and no baseboard, not finished, but I was happy that they decided to finish the, the garage off as well. Okay, well while we're downstairs, can we peek out back? Yes. So small uh, back porch here, David, but you can uh, can screen this on your own if you want to. Okay, yeah, it could be another sitting area, like if the sun rises on one side of the house and sets on another, you might spend your mornings in one spot and your evenings in another spot. And that's a good point. So this is an east-west you know, exposure, so parts of the day you may want to be on the back porch and the other part be on the front porch and you have the ability to do that. And just like you mentioned here, this is a nice big wide slab so you can definitely park two cars out here and then you could also have a golf cart or a car in the garage in the garage and uh, do a lot of people seem to ride golf carts around here yeah so i've had three or four people already purchase golf carts and they're going over to that kroger shopping center like we talked about so yes that's going to be a big thing for this community very nice all right all right, so now we're going to head upstairs and we're going to take a look around. And I think you said all the bedrooms are upstairs. Is that correct? Yes, on the Monroe floor plan, all three bedrooms and the laundry room are upstairs. So let's go check okay. it out. And then your other plan, the primary bedroom, is on the first floor? Yes, sir. Okay, That's correct. Sounds good. Now, because the master bedroom is on the second floor, put the laundry room up here just to be really convenient. Yeah, absolutely good idea. And then the master bedroom is over here. Again, ceiling fan comes with it, upgraded paint. Another thing I really liked about what Logan did is they put casing around the windows. Uh, there it really does make it look nice. And tons of natural light in here. I mean, there's no lights on in here and it's extremely bright. And then here's your almost like a his and hers closet set up here. And I'm pretty sure you can guess which is his and which is hers. <laughs> I don't know. I've definitely met some anomalies from time to time, but that would be mine right there. And you know what? I think I'll keep the lights off on here just so you can see how much natural light you get in here as well. So this is your primary bathroom and really nice walk-in shower. Wow, that's yeah, huge. It is huge. I mean, honestly, like, if I'm in here, lots and lots and lots of room in here, so. Yeah. And I like that they tiled the floor, didn't put in a cheap fiberglass pan. It's really done nice. And uh, plenty of space here. Gosh, I could put even that use for just about whatever you want. And then a linen closet right here and a great view out the bathroom window. There's plenty of light for sure. And then let's go into the guest bedrooms up here. Linen closet. Okay. This is just access to the air handler up here. Not really any storage. You might get a box or two, but it's really meant just to access the attic. Guest bedroom, and again, you know, plenty of windows. Uh, and that's another thing people have really liked about the townhomes is all the natural light that you get. All right, very nice. Bathroom there. It's just a fiberglass shower tub combo, raised vanity. Is this room a little bit bigger than the other guest bedroom? Yeah, you, uh, good eye. Yes, it's just a little bit bigger. And I know this one is not for sale, but this has a nice wooded and lagoon view out there. 
And so where are some of the homes and lots that you have available now? Do you have some wooded lots? I do, yeah, and I can show you on the site plan what I have available, but I've got a, a good mix of townhomes of various different views. So if you want a wooded view, a water view, if you want to be closer to the commercial and the stores and shops, I've got that, and I can show you. Cool. So while we were out walking around, we actually <laughs> bumped into the developer, David Johnson. And David, actually I met you a couple years ago yeah. when you were just starting this yeah. project. And you were telling me kind of the history behind how you came up with the name. And you're from New York, and you said you spent a lot of time in Washington Square in New York, right? Yeah, as I a did. kid. Well, not as a kid. I, I moved up there after graduate school. Okay. After growing up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I just found New York just magical. And particularly, I mean, my thought was with me and my partner, we thought about making a walkable village on this property that we had bought a long time ago. And as we thought more about what's the best, most cool walkable village that that I knew, it was Washington Square down in, in downtown New York and uh, near the village and. Lower East Side, and uh, I used to go down there certainly every Christmas yeah. to go shopping for my family because it had the most interesting, eclectic shops that nowhere else. I mean, you know, things that like a kaleidoscope shop. They only sold kaleidoscopes, or a, you know, a, you know. So it was it's a magical place where you could wander around and just every nook and cranny would be something different if you would uh, you find something cool to, to deal with. And I think you're doing a great job of recreating the spirit of that here because you're really curating the businesses that are coming yeah. in here. You're not just letting anybody come in. There's a, a pretty strict guideline. I mean, you've got Low Country Fresh, which, which I think I'm is- ever gra forever <laughs> grateful for them for and, make being the pioneers here, let me tell you. It, great it's people. awesome. We're gonna walk through that in a little bit. Yeah. And then what are some of the other businesses that you've we've curated some, to come in? We've got some unbelievable entrepreneurs who have been very, and I kind of consider them my partners because they're helping me think about curation and who else we else should have in here. And, you know, Palmetto Running Company has stuck with me from day one when they first, when I first said, here's the vision. They said, if you do what you say you're gonna do, we wanna be there, which it, they've st stuck with me. As has Bertie James, you know, again, another great entrepreneur. Michelle and John are just wonderful people. We have Alex from uh, Al's Aloha, who's yeah. gonna be on the end, who is just fantastic. People love him on the island, have been you know, trying to get him out to Bluffton, and he came out here and said, we wanna be here. Uh, Boutique Med Spa, we've got uh, Saltwater uh, Studios, Lotties, all entrepreneurs, some new, some have been around for a while. A woman, uh, Jessica Ware, is, is going to be uh, starting an amazing children's boutique in, in the other side of the building starting in July or August. Clothing boutique. So, and you're going to have a boutique hotel on the premises. Is well, that that's, uh, that's uh, we're working on that. Potentially. That, yeah, that potential. That's okay. what we'd like to have. And it would do the same building, similar building to the one we're doing now on the other side with retail on the bottom and, and uh, residential above. And then at the corner, just starting next week, will be uh, the uh, Starbucks, okay. which is not a local entrepreneur, but it's a, you know something that everybody has wanted down out here. So Absolutely. And it's kind of an upscale Starbucks, if I understand it's correctly. Gonna be, they, they've agreed to do Again, the whole idea of the streetscape, you know, so that we don't have driveways in the in the front. They've agreed to do that uh, as part of as part of our architectural guidelines. So, you know, it'll be a, hopefully a walkable place that people want to walk around. You will have some events in the square, which will be great, both from our entrepreneurs and stores and just general. You know, we can put food trucks in there and just have a grand old time. So. Well, thank you for taking the okay. risk to bring something new and exciting to Bluffton. And I really appreciate you jumping on camera with okay, me. Okay, my pleasure. Yes, well, Bluffton's been great about it. They've been very helpful. So Very good. It. Well, I can't wait to see it succeed. Okay. Thanks so much. All right, so Eric, now we're looking at the other model. This is a slightly larger model, is that correct? It is, yeah. So this is the Clifton floor plan. This one's also three bedrooms, two and a half baths. The main difference is this has the primary bedroom downstairs, David, uh, and then it's got two bedrooms upstairs with a really nice rec room, a uh, large office with French doors upstairs. So come check it out. And what I like about this one is it's got a larger front porch that's screened. The back porch is the same size and it can be screened by the new owner. Yeah, you can definitely feel it's a tad bit larger out here. And then this has got the same standard options here it's got the lvp flooring upgraded baseboard paint color but a different layout completely because the primary bedroom is downstairs taking up some of the space they use this 
space under the stairs for a really nice size pantry. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's huge. And again, the, the ceiling fans, the light fixtures, all of that comes uh, standard. Same appliances here. I do like the, we didn't talk about this on the other, but I like the single sink, not a high low or the, you know, 50-50. I do like that single sink upgraded. And the granite still comes standard in all of these and soft closed cabinet. And soft closed cabinets on these as well, yep. And why don't we check out the primary bedroom here. And again, plenty of light. I'll have to look that up, uh, David, but it is very good size. And you'll notice a big difference here in the master bath. When I say big difference, you get a water closet in this one that you don't on that smaller Monroe floor plan. And a huge shower here. Huge shower and a very substantial walk-in closet uh, on this one. Yeah, that is huge. It is huge. And behind you there, just a space for a vanity for the ladies is what that is. Raised vanities, I like the dual vanities, and it's cultured marble, but I gotta say, David, it's a really nice cultured marble. I like all the one piece, easy for cleaning. And then, didn't point this out on the other, but you know, the faucets and fixtures are definitely not a builder grade quality. They really stepped it up a notch. And here you also have the soft closed drawers. This one here's your half bath, convenient. Again, the refrigerator, washer, and dryer would be up to the new owner. And since the primary bedroom's downstairs, they put the uh, laundry room down here. Let me get a coat closet behind the door here. And let's step out so you can see the. Oh yeah, that's a huge porch on the back. Huge porch. Now I have had a few people screen these on their own, which we can see uh, down the street, but this is something I would probably do if it were me. Uh, like we talked about earlier, you know, parts of the day you might want to be on the back porch, other parts of the day you might be on the front porch, but it is a good size. Very nice and plenty of room for several cars plus the garage parking. This rec room area here, to me is a big deal because it's good for a reading room, TV room, and then the office is a very nice size office. Happy that the builder uh, decided to put French doors, nice touch. And then this one, you get some space in the attic that you don't on that smaller Monroe floor plan. And this is good for boxes and holiday items, what have you. And you could probably even add a little bit of space if you wanted to on the side, David. Okay. You'll notice also on these that the guest bedrooms are larger than what you have on that smaller Monroe floor plan by a few feet. It's really noticeable. Oh, very nice. And lots of windows too. Yeah, no need to turn the light on in here, is there? So here is our guest bathroom up here. Very nice. And here you go. We've also got a pocket door. I like that feature. Yeah, that's a good spot for a pocket door right there for sure. And then again, an oversized guest bedroom. Very nice. All right, so now, Eric, we're gonna take a walk around one of the stores that's already moved into this complex. And this is one of my favorites. I actually just ate lunch here yesterday. It was incredible. And this is Low Country Fresh. So let's go take a look and see what they have in here. It's one of my favorites too, David. I eat here, I've eaten everything off the menu and it is delicious. Okay. I imagine Breakfast working here. And lunch, that's right, it's too convenient for me, but it is very, very good. So tell us a little bit about this store in general. I guess this is all locally sourced food or mostly locally sourced food? Exactly, yeah. So the owner, Cindy and Andy, they try to locally source all the food and vegetables and fruits that they can. Because of that, it really makes all the, the meals delicious. And they have coffee, and they've got all kinds of fresh meat. Yeah, let's check out some of the produce. Look at those strawberries. Oh yeah. 
blueberries, the juice. They have a juice machine that uh, will give you the most delicious orange juice ever. And they've got the uh, the microgreens over here. Have you tried those? Yes, oh yes. So I try to stop in once or twice a week and pick up some of the vegetables and fruits that they have. And if you haven't tried it, you should. It is, you won't be disappointed. These actually, these microgreens are awesome if you've never put those on your salad. This Penny Acre farm, I actually sold that farm out in uh, Ridgeland where they grow those. Yeah, I think, yeah, they're, it's delicious. All right, and then of course they've got all kinds of uh, stuff in the cooler here. You can see they've got, got a line of people waiting to order lunch and then they've got a, a dining room over on the far side. And uh, yeah, this looks absolutely incredible. I don't know, if you guys watching were in here, what would you order and what would you choose? And of course, wine and coffee. And wait, last thing before we wrap it up, one of my favorite areas, the treats. Look at that, folks. Very, very nice. That is the best. All right, so Eric, thank you so much for walking us through Low Country Fresh. Thank you for taking the time to show me around this incredible new townhouse community. Most of all, thanks for being a good friend for a long time. Look forward to working out with you again soon also. Oh, thanks, David, my pleasure. All right, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you today. I hope you enjoyed meeting Eric and touring this great townhome community and seeing some of the surrounding area. Of course, if I can help you find your low country lifestyle, Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text or book a Zoom call, all in the description below. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest happening here, be sure and like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you'll know every time I drop a new video. It's been a pleasure spending time with you. I hope to meet you in, at some point in person, but if not, at least I'll see you on the next video.